Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be in the world, in the universe. Thank you for stopping by Healing Inner Child Wounds Conversations with Z. Uh, my name is Rita or Zuri Bibi, as people know me. Um, I'm on a little earlier than I normally would be. And it was because something weird. I had a weird dream last night and not last night this morning and I came in here to figure out some stuff and for myself but I think I should um, if I'm if I had this experience someone else is probably having it if you're part of my collective um, I've already prayed asked for protection cleanse the cards I'm using different cards other than the um the oracle it's an oracle and kipper but all the other cards are new different than what i use so that the energy is different and i cleansed the decks that i used prior there is something i was hiding in the closet in this dream and i and and not only was i hiding in the closet i was shooting myself don't ask me how but i was invisible i was there but i was invisible but there was somebody outside that closet door looking for me and what was even weirder about the dream was that i had a, i know when i before i before i made myself invisible I had this, I had my coat on. I have a coat that's really bulky. I had the coat on because it was more to the dream, but I'm only telling you the part that you need to know. I hid in the closet and I made myself invisible. And when I went in the closet, I didn't know, but I looked and there was a door that I could open. And I opened the door. Because the person or thing or whatever it was that was looking for me was there. And I was scared to open it because I thought it was going to make a noise and then they would find me. But I didn't. I forgot that I was invisible. So I did open the door. And I saw it was like a... Because I got my eyes closed now and I see it. I opened the door and it was dark in there. But it was like, you know, like how they have those slides for the swimming pool. That you can get in and you slide down and like a maze or whatever thing. The room was dark. It, you know, once I opened it, it was dark, but I saw that slide. And I was scared to get on it. I kind of hesitated because it was stuff going on that whoever, whatever, they were looking. And they were like right by the door. But I was invisible. They couldn't, they couldn't see me or, you know, because they opened the door. I forgot to say they opened the door, but they couldn't see me. And so I got ready to get, I was scooting over to there because I opened the door. And I got ready to go in the door, but it wouldn't let me. My coat was too bulky and it wouldn't let me go. I could not slide through it. I got right to the opening and I got halfway in and halfway out. And I couldn't go because my body, my coat was too bulky and it got caught in the door. So I stopped right there. That's how it ended, and it was weird. And I said, okay, something's not right with that. Um, so I did my own personal, so I have an idea what's going on with me, but just now, while I was um, shuffling these decks, because I have out, I call this the demon deck, and I shouldn't call it that, but it's the beautiful creature's tarot. And I have out my um, my other ancestors deck. And I have the witches deck out here. I have this out because something is going on. And when I was shuffling this deck, this deck right here, six of pentacles went in reverse while I was shuffling. It fell out and it was in reverse. And I was like, oh, somebody is trying to stop somebody's ability to give and take give and receive re be able to receive or be able to extend some type of some type of um pentacle on this earth so 
I'm just going to shuffle. Oh man, it's already five minutes into this. I'm going to um, shuffle and see what's going on. But I, the what I have planned in the background is 417 hertz. Remove all the negative energy in and around you. I have that burn. I've been playing that all morning. So this is a message for the collective. Um, I'm going to start with the beautiful creatures and see what happens. And okay, you see that. Something about Queen of Swords energy. But let me finish cutting the deck. Your inner child is probably telling you to get clear about something. Clear about something that's not being fair or there may be some type of Queen of Swords that's um, doing something. And Because this is the Eight of Pentacles. Somebody's practicing. So... A lot of you could be practicing um, saying affirmations. <clears throat> Look, see, my, now my throat acting weird. <clears throat> there is some, um, a queen of swords is either work she's practicing or somebody's practicing on her. This could be your inner child telling you this or this is your inner child telling you to do this because apparently something else is going on. I only want two more cards. Can I have two more cards, please? With a message. These cards don't even want to shuffle right. I cleansed you, so don't start with that. Ten of Pentacles is about a legacy. It's about money. It's about, yes, yeah, money. This is either an inner child issue or this is something in the past. I'm not sure yet. I want one more. Can I have one more? Two came out and I'll take them. Balance. Temperance and Ace of Sword intellect. So somebody's learning something. Somebody's oh shoot. Y'all man. Okay. Okay. Devil. I knew I came on here for a reason. This is the um, dependency. This is devil energy. And what's left in my hand is intuition, but a whole bunch of cards fell on the floor. I'm not going to bother those cards, but I'm going to take these two cards because somebody is not happy about something. Um, okay. So when I, when I look at this, this Queen of Swords is looking at some clarity and she has to soar downward so there is a fault something is not right she's learning something's not right your inner child is is telling you this and it has something to do with money because the devil is underneath it and so somebody's being told to balance out their emotions And use your intuition. I can't believe those cards all fell out. I cannot believe that happened. Wow. That's a first. Alright. Let's pull this out. Kipper. So, Kipper, what's going on with this? Can I have a message? Toil and labor is in reverse.
somebody does not want somebody working on. It's it's about money. I'm telling you. I, oh, okay. There's some type of change happening in a family room, and that's under the family. Distance horizons. Can I have some more messages, please? Mm -hmm. Sudden wealth. Lovers is on the bottom. So it's a, a relationship or a decision. Somebody is making decisions. Thinking about somebody. Mature man. Community, I told you, it's, it's, it's something going on. This is your inner child talking. I knew it. And it's under devil energy. So it's telling me that there is something trying to... Um, uh, distort a childhood memory, distort, manipulate your thoughts about a family because not only is this, um, this is under the family room as well. Somebody's been doing some work because the only time this stuff like this happens is when, when you do this kind of work, then think. Things happen because they don't, you're doing something different. And by doing something different, it aggravates it because apparently somebody's been sucking your energy. Journey's on the bottom of the deck, so yeah. Last card. Can I have one more? Poverty. I knew it. I knew it. Journey is back on the bottom. So apparently, this Queen of Swords is, is there is a change. This Queen of Swords understands it. She has some clarity about a mature man or about a man. And this could be the father. Um, it could be something that happened in the in the home that has something to do with their um, family dynamic pentacles because they apparently were well off. But there were some type of manipulations going on in the home. And also, I don't... It could have been some things done to a child during their childhood in the home. And the things were done in the home to balance out money. So whatever this child was manipulated some kind of way to keep that child in poverty and now that this queen of swords is getting clarity about that something was done to a child somebody was manipulated as a child man i'm trying not to get emotional because i'm looking at this kid and i'm feeling some kind of way I don't want to go there. I want to tap out of this. It was some messed up stuff going on to a kid in this house. <sighs> man, oh man, let me let's let's keep going. And I have a message. 
I feel the tears coming to my eyes and I do not want to get into that energy. Man, oh man. Somebody, some family made their wealth off of the back of this child. Whether they pimped the child out or made the child feel worthless, but they benefited off of whatever they were able to do. Can I have a message? There we go. Wow. Resonating. Somebody in this in this collective resonates with this. Well sing, but that well looks like it's protected. I'm gonna pull up the book. I've never seen this card before. Yes, remembering, harmonizing, resonating. There are moments in life when you have a sense of deja vu. If you've, re you've visited this place, these feelings, this person before, and you know that a new opportunity to dance has come around again. So now you have, this is why that journey card has come out, because you have a chance to move away from this energy. Yes. All right. this one out. Whew. Man, I feel some kind of way with that. Look at that. I'm gonna I'm gonna take them all only because they fell out. But somebody needs to get that compass. Travel north. That's the way you should go. When you travel north, you do go into the unknown. But it's for your best. How do I say this? Because um, right now, somebody's in their south node. You want to leave this. You want to leave this place. You want to leave this place of burdens and manipulations and all kind of whatever. A lot of you need to get in solitude. Storm feels you're going to have a lot of memories. A lot of memories are going to come up. But if you balance yourself out, you'll be able to protect yourself. Protect your treasure. And by protecting your treasure, you'll go true north. And if you look at that number, it's a 50, which is a 5, which is a change some of you all are going to be flying in your dreams I was flying in my dream sad embrace it's going to be some sadness some things are going to come up that are going to make you emotional and sad But you'll be able to balance yourself out. You see that 11 there? You're protected. Now, I like this card. This is the Bone Collector. And I'm glad I brought out that other deck. This is, some people call them the Witch Doctor. Some people call them um, Healers. Some people call them all kind of things. But you, you want this person. This is a good person. I'll read this one. Where's the deck? Oh, this is, yep, this is, this is the map. Into the unknown, trust, and all will be revealed. Life is an adventure and often new opportunities will arise that you won't know how to deal with. This is one of those times. 
you're required to trust that this new phase will reveal wonders and miracles as you step into unknown territory. Imagine that you are not only a pathfinder, but a path maker. Whatever your inquiry, trust that you'll be safe. Stay aware as you discover new and marvelous territories and valuable treasures. Now, you already had treasures here, so you're going to be protecting what you already have. But you need to make sure you are following your true north. Oh, that's number one. That was this one. Let me read number one, Bone Collector, see? You are whole and have everything you need within. Yes. But you're going into the unknown. When the Bone Collector appears, she is asking you to look closely at your circumstances to see if you're fully present or reacting out of past conditioning and unconscious expectations. Whenever you're wounded, especially when we're young, it's as if something essential was stolen from us. We adapt and accept a version of the truth that, when, that then sets us up to behave a certain way in the future when faced with a situation similar to the original event. What we know about ourselves thus becomes influenced by a perception of limitation. I told y'all, I told you. It was some stuff going on and whatever was going on, these people, I feel the tears coming in my eyes. I, I swear to you, I swear. Whatever was done to you in that house was done to make you feel poverty and people were benefiting off of this. You may feel unworthy or without courage. You may see yourself as flawed or unlovable. Or expect to be criticized. I'm over here wiping the tears from my eyes. The bone collector reminds you that the truth is that you are a powerful being with limitless possibilities. She has kept safe what was stolen from you in the wounding and is here for you as you reclaim it now. You have everything you believe you lack and the bone collector is your inner resource. Act as if you have what you need and you'll find you have it after all. Anything is possible. With awareness, the wounds of the path need not define you. I swear to you. I swear. I swear. Oh, my God. I knew I had that dream for a reason. But I know somebody else in this collective has had the same situation. It's something. It might not be the same way that I had it. I swear to you. Um, oh, man, I need a minute. But I don't have, what time is it? 23 and a half minutes. Okay. Um, let's keep going. Got two more decks. I said I would use them. I'm being told to use them. So this deck, this is the, um, the witches. I like these, but sometimes they ain't right. Sometimes they, they got issues too. Um, let's keep going. Um, trying to leave those. What was underneath there? Underneath, because I left cards there. It's the high priestess. Use your inner knowing. Whatever this this inner knowing is telling you about this. And I'm going to... See? Here we go. Nine of Swords Energy. Whatever was done was done to keep you in this anxious energy. They're trying to keep you all when you when you're not when you're in this anxious energy, you can't can't make this shit up. You can't see. You can't see which way to go. You don't know who you are, where you are, what you need to do. That you you're in a loop. You're in a constant loop. 
but there is a messenger. This is uh, Knight of, the Page of Wands. The Page of Wands brings good news. And I'm going to leave it at that. They're bringing good news because you know that you've been abandoned. Messed over. Okay. You get this bone collector is telling you this. The bone collector is telling you that people have kept you wounded. It's time for you to come out of this wounding because you were not able to see how people were manipulating you, abusing you. And I mean, they. Mm. You're being told to walk away ancestors are saying walk away walk away from this this e and this is mental whoever the, the people that abuse people they go to your mind first cuz if they can get your mind then your body will do whatever the mind is telling you to do but you're being told now to walk away emotionally you're being told to walk away can i have a message can I have a message about this Nine of Swords? This is um, um, Chariot. Move away from this energy. Move away from this anxiety, this um, manipulation, uh, feeling like you're not good enough. There's a bird. I didn't pay attention to this. There is a bird. There's a messenger there. And it could be the people who are watching you. So they go back and they tell whatever it is. But you're being told to move ahead because this is devil energy. I swear to God. See, I knew it. I knew it. You're being manipulated. Can't make this shit up. Walk away. You're telling that you're going to be... You, you're moving away. Move away. Use your intuition. Queen of Cups. Use it. gonna take a lot of strength but you can do it don't know how long this has been going on but you're being told to move away this has something to do with your stability like I said whoever whatever was going on in that house in that family room that situation it affected your ability to be stable in life and if you walk away from whatever this is, is uh, you can get back and become stable. Can I have a message on the Two of Swords? Look at that. You're being told if you walk away, when you walk away, you'll be able to have a new start. You may have a you may have a new start. People were not giving you two of two of wands means you taking action, but people were trying to stop you from taking action. They were stopping you from being able to make determine which way you wanted to go. They were manipulating you on that. Like I said, if they manipulate your mind, you won't know which way to go, which which action to take, and that's what was happening. This is the death. This is the... This, mm, never mind. I'm not going to go into that. Um, you're going to transform. You're going to transform this energy. But not only that, the people who are trying to manipulate you, you're transforming. You're ending things for them because you're transforming the energy. This 
you'll be able to balance whereas before they they were trying to keep you juggling yeah juggling your emotions do it got two cards here you're going to manifest you're going to be able to manifest and you're going to be protected you're wounded but you can keep going your aunt let me break it down this is you these are your ancestors get ready you're wounded you've been through a lot you see all these ones there you've been through a lot but your ancestors have been with you along the way they have been there and you will be able to manifest out of this you are a magician now the other ones they were magicians too but whatever you're manifesting, you're going to flip whatever they did to you. You're going to be able to manifest and make changes in your life. Make the decisions for yourself. While others were manifesting off of you, you'll be manifesting for yourself. You will be able to find the money you need. And this is a four and this has something to do with your stability. This card talks about how slaves had this there were certain slaves that knew how to find money and the slave masters would um, get them they would make them work to find money yeah slave masters knew that that that, the, that they knew how to, slaves knew how to do stuff they don't want to tell you about that in the history but let's keep it going I'll put one more on this. Okay, a whole bunch fell out. I'll take it. So you're going to be able to manifest, but you need to get grounded. Somebody needs to take their spiritual baths. Start taking your spiritual baths so that you can get grounded. And you're going to be looking at a lot of heartache. You're going to be pushing through that because a lot was done to you mentally. Once you get grounded, you will become um, more able to uh, become get into your Queen of Pentacles energy. And Queen of Pentacles can manifest, can she can have abundance in the earthly plane. So, that, like I said, whatever was done to you was done here on Earth. And so, once you begin to take the baths. And do the, the work, um, use your mental strength, you will get back into this energy where you will be grounded. Because a lot of people were trying to keep you stuck. But you will be able to use this as a way of thinking differently. People want you to think that you can't do stuff. They want to keep you hung to their way of thinking. But if you look at this, there's a compass there on his forehead. And you want to go towards your true north. Tower moments. You're causing tower moments for people because you're waking up. That inner child is telling you about stuff that went on in that house. And it's causing tower moments for people. Bad ones for them, good ones for you. Because once you understand, because, you know, tower moments don't have to be bad. Once you understand something, that's a tower moment. Because once you understand, you can heal it. And there are people out there that don't want you to do it. So once you understand it, it causes bad tower moments for them. Puts the spotlight on them. Everybody will see what they did. You'll be able to shine that light on them. They don't want the light shown on them. Once you do that, once you shine that light, you'll be able to go toward what you want to do. Not what, what they wanted you to do. This card is interesting for me because... You're investing in yourself, the seven of pentacles. But there were people manifesting off of you. And they were hiding it because they did it with the pig. They, they would do it 
sloppily. Who wants to be in the pigsty? They're sneaking. They were taking stuff from you. But now you can manifest and you can flip that. You can flip that because now you have clarity. And you'll be able to balance out. You'll be able to gamble on yourself. This is Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles upright. If if I'm not mistaken, I said the Six of Pentacles was in reverse with the little um, um, beautiful creatures tarot card. They're trying to not have you balance yourself out, not have you able to have what you need for you and share with others and make the decisions that you need to make concerning your life, your relationships. Because if you get in a relationship that is balanced, you will be abundant beyond measure. They want you to keep that burden. You're releasing it though. And there is the justice card. Justice will be given to you. I'm going to stop right here. Oh, there we go. That's the truth. Because you have the clarity. I think that was that came out before also. I don't remember what I say prior to this. Just so y'all know. I don't... Under, this is weird. I, I'm doing different stuff now. But I'm telling you, whatever... This happened for a reason. Whatever is going on, that inner child is telling you. Whatever, whatever went on in that house was the truth. Whatever you're remembering was the truth. I'm going to stop this reading right now. Because this was a bit much. And I still got other stuff I need to do today. I can't. I can't stand this energy. I cannot stand this energy. It's 1144. Y'all look that number up. But I want you all to look at this. Heal from this. Y'all, it's some work y'all need to do. But I'm telling you. Whatever went on was crazy. I swear to you. All right. We're going to tap out of this. I want to thank you for stopping by Healing Inner Child Wound Conversations with Z. And I'll be back another day. I, I, I'm not coming back on today. I, I'm not doing it. I, I, need, I need to process this and move through it and keep it moving. All right, you all take care. Peace.